Keith Ferrazzi, great to have you here. You just Thank finished you. your presentation at the Hedner LA event, yeah. talking all about leading without authority and how to change human behaviour in the workplace. You mentioned in the conversation or the speech that you gave that transformation, transformational agents, in order to be a transformational yeah. agent, you need to go 99% of the way yeah. as an individual. You need to extend yourself 99%. Can you elaborate on that for those who weren't in the audience? What exactly do you mean? Well, the basis of today's talk was the basis of a new book that I've got coming out uh, right now in the spring. Uh, it's available on Amazon. It's called uh, Leading Without Authority. Everybody in that audience today and everybody watching, today I feel if you're going to do service to your job, you need to believe yourself to be a transformational agent. You need to be an individual stepping into your organizations, helping them transform, stepping up to not just do your job, but to move your job and your company to the next level. And I think, frankly, given the positions that, that you're in, you do have that vantage point because it's such a crucial position in the company. Now, with that in mind, the question is how do you do that? You can't do it by waiting for authority, control, resources to be handed to you. You've got to earn those, and you earn those by enlisting people. The identification of who your team is has nothing to do with org structure, has nothing to do with boxes on an org chart. It has to do with the audacity of your vision combined with identifying the people you need to achieve that vision. That's your team. Now, once you recognize that's your team, you're not allowed to let anything stop you from being transformative. You don't, you don't let being a victim mindset of, oh, HR policy is this, or we don't have budget for that, it's irrelevant, right? So it's all on you, and you also don't let jackasses stand in your way. You know, just because somebody is difficult or doesn't believe with you, that doesn't mean that now all of a sudden you crumble. No, you step up, you, you earn the right to be heard. And to me, that's, that's sort of the basis of, of, the, of, mm -hmm. of that talk. Often people, whenever we are confronted with change, we are skeptical, even if we even in ourselves know that that change is good for us. Yeah. Why do you believe that is the case? What, why is it that we are hardwired that way yeah. as a species? Well, you said it. Uh, we're hardwired. First of all, look, tribally, we are hardwired 70,000 years ago to, to be connected. But if you're not in a tribe with somebody and you're in a different tribe, mm. you're also hardwired to be skeptical. Mm. And with that skepticism, we've got to cut through and we've got to create us. And I think all today, there's too, too many individuals are walking around in tribes of one. But don't you feel that the way society is structured with social media the way it is today? Yeah, but th those are all excuses. Those are route. all excuses. But yes, but I don't care. You want to be transformative, you create a team around the transformation. I don't give a damn whether, you know, Facebook is making it difficult. I don't care if your boss is a jackass. I just don't care. Being transformative requires you to be a leader of people who don't even know that you're leading them. How would you advise people to become more aware of that then within themselves? What would be some advice that you could give them? Buy my book. That's, that's the whole print, you know, it's what I've spent eight years researching on how do we become leaders with authority, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's the basis of today's talk, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Good. and I really appreciate it. Great, yeah. final question. Yeah. As I was doing some research on you, I looked up your, your videos, and you were talking about intimacy dinners, yes. and how people shouldn't eat alone. Yeah. Um, could you elaborate on that? And, and just, I, well, just look, I mean, I, I've spent all my life creating community and creating a network, because I, didn't ha I wasn't born into it. I didn't have nepotism to lean back on. Mm. Um, what I had to do is I had to create my own nepotism, and I did that through you know, enlisting people. Mm -hmm. um, and Dinners is a wonderful wet mechanism. Never Eat Alone was my first book, mm -hmm. and it, it's not about eating, it's about building a powerful network by serving and being vulnerable and being authentic and being real when you show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just did one last night, so it was Excellent. great. Excellent. Yeah. Again, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, great to Appreciate meet you. it. All the best. Cheers. Cheers.